When you think of Wipro, you probably think IT services. But step inside their global innovation network in Bangalore, and it feels more like a futurist playground. AI agents that learn on their own. Quantum computers crunch problems in days that once took decades. Drones, robots, digital currencies, and cyber shields for a quantum future. So what exactly is this place? We went on a tour of Wipro's flagship innovation hub, and what did we see? I'll tell you all about it on this episode of Point Break. The first thing you notice is that this isn't just another tech lab. Wipro deliberately calls it a network because the idea is to break out of an isolated R&D. Instead, it's about weaving together startups, academia, partners such as Google, Microsoft, AWS, and even Wipro Ventures into a collaborative ecosystem. As Sandhya Arun, Wipro's CTO puts it, disruption is happening too fast. Innovation can't live inside closed rooms anymore. That's why they built a network to bring technologists, clients, and innovators together and solve problems in real time. At the center of this ecosystem are five frontier themes that Wipro has picked from its Tech Trends 2025 report. Each one is being prototyped, tested, and applied inside the hub. Agentic AI. Imagine autonomous AI agents that don't just automate a task, but collaborate with each other like a team of co-workers. From coding applications to running IT operations, these agents could transform how enterprises run. Intelligent machines and robotics. This is AI with a body. Think drones that can scan infrastructure and flag defects or autonomous vehicles capable of making real-time decisions. Machines that don't just respond, but understand and act. Distributed ledger and blockchain. Beyond crypto hype, blockchain is finding its way back through real-world use cases. From Digi Yatra in airports to asset tracking across global supply chains, the center is exploring how decentralized systems can create trust across industries. Quantum computing. One of the showstoppers of the tour. We saw how quantum can compress drug discovery timelines from 15 years to months by precisely simulating molecular structures. But with that power also comes risk, which is why cyber resilience. Every leap in AI and quantum opens new vulnerabilities. Wipro is working on AI for cyber and cyber for AI, helping enterprises move to post-quantum cryptography before it's too late. Each of these five themes wasn't just explained on slides. They came alive through real demos. The entire space is designed like a canvas. It ships based on who walks in. A manufacturing client will see supply chain use cases. A healthcare client may see AI-enabled medical imaging or drug trials. At the end of our tour, we sat down with Sandhya Arun for an exclusive conversation. From AI's role in shaping enterprises to how Wipro is preparing for the quantum era, she shared her vision for the future of innovation. Okay, thank you, Sandhya, for taking the time to speak to My us. My pleasure. Uh, a wonderful tour that we had over here, a beautiful global innovation network that you have. I just wanted to understand how do you scale from the models or the prototypes that you built here to a larger picture, like to bring it out to the audience? So we have uh, an innovation funnel, as we call it. It is a common uh, topic as far as innovation management goes. So the funnel is wide to start with. Lots of ideas flow in. Uh, so there is typically a panel, a mixture of experts team that reviews these ideas and uh, requests the innovators to come back with a business case around uh, what would be the ROI of this idea. Mm -hmm. uh, once we are convinced about the innovativeness of the idea, the usefulness, as well as the business case, mm -hmm. uh, we then fund these ideas so that they become a proof of concept or a prototype, I yes. would say. At the prototype stage, we typically guide them uh, to engage with our uh, sales teams, our consulting teams, uh, get exposure uh, with clients. Uh, quite often clients visit us at the innovation lab as well. So when these uh, prototypes are viewed, uh, it generates ideas with clients. And once we have a client commitment to co-innovate with us, we scale it for them. Mm -hmm. And uh, as we scale, there is a lot of learning. It is an agile uh, life cycle. 
and and then there are parts of the uh, solution that then become uh, an industry field of play so we take it across uh, the industry as well as uh, put it up possibly on hyperscaler marketplaces put it up on our own marketplace for greater visibility and the idea keeps growing and sustaining got it. so is this where the collaboration bit that you were referring to yes. is the academia the startups yes. all that yes. comes in picture. see the beauty about uh, innovation today uh, is it becomes very essential to have uh, multifunctional groups diverse thinkers who are contributing to ideas so right from research institutes which bring in the deep end of the technology uh, hyperscalers who bring us the scale dimensions of solutions and our clients who actually uh, help us understand uh, more and more about business problems industry problems uh, and of course our design teams who look at human centric design at the intersection of all of this is where ideas can be nurtured well mm-hmm. so open innovation co innovation becomes a very very important aspect of ideating in a manner that is productive and satisfying for everybody and at the same time you're sure that there is an impact that is being made and there is an ROI for everyone involved okay and in the collaboration with say the startups bit yeah. now with ai being the focus do you right. look at even startups that are building in ai or using ai as a you know as a frontier technology for them so how does that collab work yeah so we have the pro ventures yeah. as i told you so yes. it is a professionally run organization that is constantly on the lookout for uh, startups with meaningful experiments with technology mm-hmm. uh so uh, once uh, a venture is started they are a part of the ecosystem so we have periodic cadences uh, showcases even in the lab mm-hmm. uh, exploration of problem solving for clients together uh, and figuring out how even wipro might use their solutions okay right so there are several solutions from wipro startups that our cio organization or ceo organization uses okay. and then you have a more meaningful solution that has actually hardened from an enterprise perspective and it's probably the right time then to take it to our clients as well Correct. so that's how that process works cool and on the wave of the ai tech that's happening and the evolution that's happening right. how, how do you ensure wipro kind of capitalizes the current trend like for example first generative ai now agentic ai yeah. so whatever is the next thing yeah. how is wipro going to be on board with all so which is which is the primary function uh, of my team and the wipro innovation network mm-hmm. uh so we are constantly uh looking at horizon 2 and horizon 3 we are identifying what's beyond uh you know what is visible to us today what is the hype today uh is a hype to a large extent and there is some value in it and our delivery teams are executing uh in the horizon 1 space but if you really want to know what's coming tomorrow uh we engage with uh research analysts uh, we do a lot of research ourselves we engage with universities to know what's coming ahead of the curve and more importantly than just knowing we get our hands dirty in technology uh, so quantum computing for example uh, we have already started uh, working on quantum algorithms understanding what kind of problems to solve using quantum computing yeah. engaging with clients to see how uh, quantum works in telcos how it might work in uh, life sciences and pharma for molecular engineering so we have points of views that come out we present papers uh, we build proofs of concepts and prototypes and we identify partners and clients who are ready to take this to scale even today mm-hmm. right and everybody is aware this is futuristic but the idea is to start early so you are ahead of the curve got it and the five trends that you are talking about right. which it is based right so these are the f- the purely based on the trends or it's more from the high impact sectors that you're looking at or where you can yeah it is it is uh, it is trends which could have high impact on our client base mm-hmm. so our technology strategy is based on our business strategy and our business strategy has very clearly outlined uh what are the market segments we would engage with uh so our top 3 market segments are uh healthcare uh banking financial services and insurance and uh energy manufacturing and resources mm-hmm. and we of course have telecommunications media technology and consumer right so these are priority sectors and we know what are the industry problems that 
these industries are trying to solve. Mm -hmm. And then we look at tech trends and we say, which of these tech trends would make a difference to the kind of problem that these industries are going to solve? So is it, is it, for example, a productivity problem? Is it, for example, a scale problem? Is it a problem that relates to optimization, a problem that needs simulations at molecular subatomic levels? Uh, is it a problem that can solve lead time, cycle time, right? So we really look at what these technologies can solve and then prioritize uh, fields of innovation. And then out of the fields of innovation, grow the fields of play. And the blockchain bit is very interesting now that you brought it back. Uh, but but you like you said, it does take time, right, for blockchain to see the results and the impact of it. So how big of an impact do you foresee with bringing blockchain technology? I think uh, it'll be very, very impactful going forward. Blockchain plus AI plus quantum uh, is likely to make a huge impact to how we transact today on anything. Mm -hmm. So uh, while that is uh, the big art of the possible, I think today we are still engaging with our clients on COEs for blockchain, building capability, uh, on looking at uh, how money market funds can use blockchain uh, to make it, you know, to make it more uh, based on trust, uh, where you don't really have to know the people or you don't need paper. So there are some early benefits uh, and early evolutions that we are seeing in terms of use cases. Got it. Uh yeah, that's a wonderful answer that you're given for the blockchain bit. But but this also means that you would be having a lot of compute necessity, right? Let's say the blockchain, the quantum that you're talking about. So how does Wipro look to uh, kind of mitigate through that challenge? No, the compute is usually, uh, it comes to us through our hyperscalers. Okay. Uh, and it is a beautiful thing that today because of cloud, you can experiment with a lot of things as a service. Mm -hmm. So you consume and you pay for what you consume. Yeah. Uh, so from that perspective, uh, it makes it a lot easier for us to work on some of the technologies that consume compute. Mm -hmm. Having said that, we also have a practice that focuses on semiconductors and works with clients who are looking at how to make compute more powerful. Mm -hmm. Right. So that is a separate line of business uh, that Wipro has. So when you look at it holistically, we have a play and a solution for today, and we also have a play that will emerge from some of these engagements. Okay, got it. And just one last question on how do you see the evolution of the global innovation network in, say, the next five years? Next five years, I think uh, there's going to be a lot of AI for sure. Uh, there's also going to be uh, a lot of speed. So the funnel that I spoke to you about, even this is too long. <laughs> right yeah. as as a gesture mm -hmm. so i think the funnels will become more rapid uh, success and failures uh, we will be able to assess very early thanks to our ability to simulate uh, ability to optimize will be very quick mm -hmm. right and we might have uh, agentic partners who help us innovate as well uh, in significant ways so it's going to be a lot of fun it's going to be more democratic yeah. and it's going to be all about speed and scale all right great yeah, yeah. thank you thank you so much thank you so much okay. Like we heard, it's not just internal talent. The network spans distinguished technologists inside Wipro driving deep tech research. Wipro ventures investing in startups to harden and scale solutions. Partners such as NVIDIA, AWS, Microsoft, and Google co-creating scalable industry solutions. Top Coder, Wipro's crowdsourcing platform, bringing in global problem solvers, and university collaborations with institutions such as IISC, pushing PhD level research on frontier technologies. It's a huge promise with massive potential and what plays out in the long run from the IT giant is something we'll be watching closely. Well, that's all we have for this episode of Point Break. I'm Anna Nair and I'll be back with more such tours and exclusives from India's tech ecosystem. Until then, stay sharp, stay curious and think AI, think AIM.